हेलो भिवर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ पेपर नंबर नाइन फोर्थ सेमिस्टर द टॉपिक इज बजेट साइकिल इन इंडिया and so far as budget cycle in india is concerned we'll discuss mainly preparation of budget passing of budget and enactment of budget and finally we'll see how finance ministry has control over budget system so we will discuss how budget is prepared how it is passed how it is executed and what control finance department has over the budgetary process the entire budget cycle will be over and i request my viewers that in my channel in this channel courses of studies or videos of plus 2 first year course plus 2 second year course Plus three, first semester, second semester, third semester, and fourth semester are available. And many students, those who are not aware of this channel, they are facing a lot of problems. And I request my viewers that if you will help them to know about this channel, it will be help to them. It will be a help to them, and ultimately it will be a service to God. Let us start. How budget is prepared in India? in the financial administration budget is a central concept budget is considered as a mean to achieve social economic development and social economic changes and every country budget is found and in india for the first time budget was submitted in parliament on 7th april 1860 by then finance minister james wilson and after independence in india budget was submitted in parliament on 26th november 1947 by then finance minister r k sanmugam setty c h e t t y and in india the budget year 1st april to 31st march was being implemented from 1867 but prior to 1867 in india the budget year was 1st may to 30th april so budget is very important but before we discuss how budget is prepared we must know first of all the meaning of budget budget means it is derived from the french word budget means a sack or a pouch from where from where from which official paper is uh, removed and placed in legislature for next year so budget means it is derived from the french word budget means a sack or pouch from which financial paper is removed to be placed in the legislature where it is mentioned financial scheme for the next year so what it means the a statement of an annual statement of income and expenditure for the next year so we are clear about the meaning of budget now we'll see in india how budget is prepared so how budget is prepared so before we discuss how budget in india is prepared we must know first of all a few lines about the features of indian budget the first feature of indian budget is that budget is prepared on cash basis it means the first feature of indian budget system is that budget is prepared on cash basis it means in indian budget revenues and expenditures are mentioned number 2 rule of leps it means the budgetary allocation will have to be utilized within the budgetary year otherwise it will be lapsed number 3 realistic estimation realistic estimation means in indian budget system what demands departments will made that much money will be given it is known as realistic est estimation number 
budget to be on gross and net basis. Indian budget is prepared on gross basis and net basis. Indian budget is prepared on gross gross basis means in India, whatever demands will be made by departments, it will be mentioned in total. It is known as gross basis of budget. Net basis of budget means sometime in the budget, sanction is made for some scheme. It is made on net basis. And number four, number five, budget uh, estimates to be on budget estimate to be on departmental basis. In India, the estimates for the budget will be made on the basis of departmental basis. Means every department will give its expenditure. So it is known as estimate to be on departmental basis. So we are clear what is the meaning of budget? What are the features of Indian budget? Now discuss. How in India budget is prepared? Listen, just you know it very well. In India, budget starts from 1st April and ends in 31st March. But budget preparation starts from 6 to 8 months before. No doubt budget starts from 1st April to and ends in 31st March. But preparation of budget starts from 6 to 8, ma 8 months before. Before 6 to 8 months, the finance ministry will send a form to administrative head of all departments. And the administrative department of all departments will send these forms to their sub offices, where five columns are found. Number one. What was the proposed expenditure of previous year? What demand was made in previous year? And what second, what was given? What was the sanction estimates of the previous year? What was demanded for the previous year? And what was given? Number three, what was the proposed expenditure of current year? In this current year, what was demanded? Number four, what was the sanction estimates of the current year? In the current year, how much was sanctioned? Finally, what was the proposed expenditure for the next year? For the next year, how much you demand? So the finance ministry will send a form where these five columns are found to every head of administrative department. The finance ministry will send a form to every head of administrative head of all departments. And these administrative heads will send this form to their sub offices. And their sub offices will fill up these forms and they will send it back to their administrative head and the administrative head will make a total of it and will prepare the expenditure of the department and the head of the administrative head of each department will send to the finance department the forms after it is being filled up and if any administrative department has not asked more money than previous year the finance department will not ask any question, will sanction. Just try to understand. If any department has not asked more money than previous year, the finance department will sanction it without asking question. But if any administrative department will ask more money in this year, the finance department will ask four questions. What were the four questions? Uh, if the proposed expenditure is absolute necessary, the money which you want more, it, is it absolute necessary? Number two. If so, how long we have done without it? For so many years, how we have done without it? Number four. What is done, what is done elsewhere? What is done elsewhere? And finally, who will be affected by it? If money, extra money will not be given, who will be affected by it? The finance minister will ask, all these questions to that department who has asked more money. It will not ask this question to that department which has not asked more money. Any department which has asked more money, these questions will be asked to that department by the finance minister. Then the finance ministry and that department which has asked more money, there will be discussion and a compromise will be made. After that, the finance department will add expenditures of all departments and this is the way how budget is prepared. And now discuss how budget is passed. 
बजेट इज पास थ्रू फाइव स्टेजेस स्टेज वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ बजेट इन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ बजेट बजेट इज इंट्रोड्यूस इन द पार्लियामेंट एंड देर विल बी नो डिस्कशन नंबर टू जनरल डिस्कशन स्टेज टू इन द स्टेज टू देर विल बी जनरल डिस्कशन इन इन मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट कैन आस्क क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन स्टेज थ्री वोटिंग ऑफ वोटिंग ऑफ डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स विल बी पास्ट एवरी एवरी डिपार्टमेंट हैज सम एक्सपेंडिचर इट इज नोन एज वोटिंग ऑफ ग्रांट्स वोटिंग ऑफ डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स सो डिमांड डिमांड वोटिंग सो डिमांड ऑफ डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स ऑफ ऑल डिपार्टमेंट विल हैव टू पास वन बाय वन एंड इन इंडिया वन हंड्रेड नाइन डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स आर फाउंड आउट ऑफ वन नाइन वन हंड्रेड थ्री आर सिविल एंड सिक्स आर डिफेंस सो इन द स्टेज थ्री ऑल द डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स आर पास इंडिविजुअली इन स्टेज फोर पासिंग ऑफ एप्रोप्रिएशन बिल देन इन स्टेज फोर ऑल द डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स विल बी एडेड इन ए बिल इट इज नोन एज एप्रोप्रिएशन बिल इट विल पास फाइनली इन स्टेज फाइव एप्रो पासिंग ऑफ फाइनेंस बिल देन द एक्सपेंडिचर साइड इज ओवर देन फ्रॉम वेयर रेवेन्यू विल कम देन द सोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू विल बी कंपाइल्ड इन ए बिल नोन एज फाइनेंस बिल इट विल पास so till now we have discussed what is budget when budget was introduced in india how budget is prepared what are the features of budget and how budget is passed now discuss how budget is executed how after the passing of the budget how it is executed how it is materialized in this year, in this um, head how budget is executed we will discuss five points number 1 assessment and collection first of all when budget will be passed it will be assessed who will give tax and how much a list will be prepared then then after that collection of collection of tax will be made on the basis of nature of tax first of all assessment and collection it means after the budget is passed it will be prepared who will give tax and how much on the basis of nature of tax because there are some taxes like custom it will have to be paid on the basis on the spot itself income tax will have to be deducted from the salary then there are certain taxes which the which a person will deposit in the treasury so the first aspect of the execution of budget is the assessment and collection it means it will be decided who will pay tax and how much okay this is number 1 then so uh, then there are some taxes which will be collected on the spot there are some taxes which will be deducted from the uh, source of income and there are some taxes which the individual will have to deposit in the uh, treasury so this is the first step number 2 custody of fund when money will be collected it will be kept where either in state bank or government treasury so if money will be kept in treasury or in state bank it will be secure number 3 disbursement of fund it is very important when money will be collected how it will be dispersed it means the allocation of money in the budget will have to be dispersed how the finance ministry appoints the administrative head of all departments as controlling officer so how the money will be dispersed the finance ministry will appoint the administrative head of all department at the controlling officer and the controlling officer has some dispersing officers and the controlling officer will allow the dispersing officers to disperse the money and when the dispersing officer will disperse the money you will have to see that the money which will be sanctioned will have to be used on the basis of the provision of the budget then the dispersing officer after dispersing the money will have to give a copy of it to the administrative head who is the controlling officer then he will send a copy of it to the auditor general then again the controlling officer who is the administrative head of a department will prepare a report of transactions and he will send it 
a copy of it to the finance ministry and a copy of it to the water general. This is how dispersing of funds. And number four is the accounting. Accounting means it is a systematic method by which receipts and vouchers of all transactions are maintained to prove honesty and legality. Then accounting means all the expenditures which have been made against those expenditures, receipts and vouchers will be collected. It is the function of the accounting department to perform that work. So, in the execution of budget, accounting is important. In the accounting uh, aspect, it will be discussed. In the accounting aspect, it is made that all the expenditures which have been made, their vouchers and receipts must be collected. And it will have to be shown so that the transaction will be honest and legal. Finally, audit. Audit means a system by which it will be observed that the money which has been sanctioned have been on the basis of the budgetary provisions or, or not. It is known as auditing and it is made under the leadership of CNG, Control and Auto Develop India. So we have discussed how budget is prepared, how budget is passed, how budget is executed. Now we'll see. Finance Ministry role in the budgetary process. What role Finance Ministry has in the budgetary process? We'll discuss three aspects. Number one, control during the preparation of budget. When budget is prepared, the Finance Minister has the power to reduce the expenditure of any department and the Finance Minister has the power to reject a proposal which is not technologically sound. So during the preparation of budget, the finance department has some role. When budget will be prepared, it is the finance minister which has the power to reduce the amount of any department. And if any department has given any new proposal, the finance department has the power to reject it on the ground of technically unsound. This is all about the role of finance department during the preparation of budget. Now we'll discuss control during execution of budget. During the execution of budget, what role the finance minister has? During the execution of budget, the finance ministry will see that expenditures are on the basis of the budgetary provisions or not. Now, but again, it reviews quarterly the expenditures. During the execution of budget, it is the duty of the, of the finance ministry to see whether the expenditures are made on the basis of budgetary provisions or not. Again, the finance minister will have to make quarterly inspection over the expenditures. Finally, control over miscellaneous. The finance ministry also control matters of grants and acts, owing of recoveries and inspect expenditure, expenditure of different departments. In this head, control on expenditure or control on miscellaneous work the finance ministry will have to see grants in aid matters and it will have to see expenditures of different departments and it will have to see waiving of recoveries. It means the finance ministry has the power to leave off recoveries. It means if any person or if any institution is unable to repay the loan money, the fund department has the power to relieve that person or individual. So in this video, we have discussed how budget has come to India, in which year, what is budget, how budget is prepared, what are the features of budget, how budget is passed and how budget is executed. And finally, we have discussed what role finance department has over the budget during the preparation of budget, during the time of execution of budget and finance minister role on miscellaneous aspects. I request my viewers to watch this video attentively and give your comment. Thank you. Again, we will be here with another video. Till now, goodbye to all.